37% of population in Mexico is in uh, poverty conditions. This is 47 million people, seven of whom live in extreme poverty. That's why the private sector is committed to decrease poverty, not only by creating jobs, but also contributing to decrease multidimensional poverty within their employees and also their communities. At Coparmex in Mexico, but also another uh, business organization in Latin America, we're working on a new model for our countries in Latin America, which is called the Inclusive Development Model. It stands for having economic development, which is necessary, but not sufficient. We need to have also social development and also sustainable development. Of course, we need a model for our countries with uh, rule of law, with uh, peace and security, with democracy, with respect to human rights, to freedom, and with ethics and integrity. But also we see uh, uh, private sector companies as a vehicle of change in order to decrease poverty in this multidimension analysis. Now, how can we use technology to decrease poverty? Uh, you know that 37% of world population, that's 2.6 million people, have never used internet, according to the ITU. This is because of lack of electricity and also lack of digital skills. The private sector, along with governments, are working on projects to improve digital inclusion, access to broadband, and digital literacy. But the private sector must work with governments, also with uh, NGOs, international organizations, to make these project activities fit for the purpose of ensuring that they apply to local needs and environment. Digital infrastructure in rural areas, affordable devices, and investing in digital skills, we are working on. And I'll give you an example. Imagine a small town in the mountains of Oaxaca, which is a state in Mexico. This community is seven hours from the closest city. The problem is that it is an isolated community. Kids in this community have access to go in school, in education, only until sixth grade. So we put together a project with the local leaders, with local government, with the uh, social society organizations, and also uh, private sector companies. So we put the infrastructure to have internet, we put the uh, tablets so that uh, kids could learn and go to school, we put uh, teachers, mentors, and so that today we have this community that was isolated. Right now, this community is open to the world. And we are convinced that if we give education to the kids, they will have a better future with less poverty, as it is shown in this community in Oaxaca. Uh, just to close, Yesterday, the IOE, along with the Conrad Adenauer and the United Nations DCO, we launched a playbook on collaboration between United Nations resident coordinators and the employer organization. It is critical at the local level that the UN and governments work with these businesses organization as they represent large and small companies and all industries and sectors. They understand the needs of business to increase both quantity and quality of jobs. And this is how the private sector is working to decrease poverty.